Hey guys, if you are new here, I am a filmmaker who makes videos based on creators, creative brands, and the ins and outs of those businesses. Mr. Beast started his new channel where he's putting all of his focus to giving things away, and he's starting off with $10 million a year. Like, what? I mean, which one of us just has $10 million laying around? <laughs> I mean, I do. I just want to see where it all goes. Is this any different from the Mr. Beast main channel? Not really, but at the same time, he's literally changing how the world works with YouTube. We should all be paying attention. There's more behind the curtain as to what Mr. Beast is up to right now. A warehouse to start with, but what's in it? Since Mr. Beast is exclusively launching content around philanthropy, he's going to be able to give more of his focus and more of his money to just giving it away. Not really much so promoting it in his videos for a challenge that you can win it from. On Mr. Beast, you know, that channel with 50 million subscribers, he built that channel off of insane ideas, challenges, stunts and bringing people along into these videos as a kind of game show. They're there to win these prizes. The broadcasting around his persona will be more so tailored to the giving away of goods that is completely just due to fortune. It's almost like he doesn't even need to do these stunts anymore. He just wants to flood us all with cash and things from in this warehouse. But is he just going to stop uploading the gigantic stunt videos that got him to the fame at which he has today? Running all these channels, I'm sure it's a ton of work for Jimmy and just knowing that the Mr. Beast YouTube channel is a full-time job on its own. Mr. Beast, he's been planning this all along. Well, maybe not really all along, but for a while now, he's been planning on expanding his brand in these sort of ways across more mediums of entertainment and business. He knows that he's obsessed with YouTube, but he also knows that what has come along with that is a really great outcome of helping people and making them feel better, giving things away to them. Beast Philanthropy is the new channel at which his genius brand approach is showing its light. Beast Philanthropy is his genius brand approach and his way of really zoning into his reputation, the thing that we all know him for. In a very clever way, he is zoning into that. It's a new channel, but it's also just an extension of his brand. He wants to grow his audience as big as possible. Have you seen a Beast YouTube video before? I have, and honestly, I love what he has been doing. He has really been able to well, show positivity and really make a difference of giving things away and making people feel better. Beast Philanthropy isn't only the extension of Mr. Beast and what we've seen from his videos, but it's also a totally new audience demographic that people will find and tune into. So is he just trying to get more fame? Or is there an actual backstory behind this as to how he is going to help everyone benefit from this new channel? Once more people start tuning in, he's going to convert those audience members into more money. More cash flow equals more things to give away. This way it's not really more so of last to take their hand off a Lambo keeps it, but instead, he's just going to buy probably like five Lambos and give them all away to homeless people. Beast Philanthropy will eventually grow as big or bigger than his 50 million subscribe to Mr. Beast YouTube channel, and therefore a new demographic he can tap into at his fingertips. Jimmy is able to strategically expand Beast Philanthropy to the point where it will eventually pay for itself. He knows that being consistent on YouTube is very important, but even more so important, it is crucial that you actually build the loyalty factor. People in your audience trust you, the creator. People like you and I, we need to really watch and see what he does with this new channel. It blossoms out from just this first upload. If he makes one wrong move, like showing a derogatory clip, or saying something that we don't like, that could really stop the momentum and stop the growth of this YouTube channel. But if he continues being his genuine self and he continues uploading these videos, showing us what he's doing with his philanthropy channel, and he continues just using this brand the way it should have been used, then he's on his way. He is on his way to building the empire. But even if he stays consistent on this channel or he continues giving this money away or he continues posting content where we can see him giving this food away, that still only ensures the growth of Beast Philanthropy YouTube channel. A place where we can all continuously see how he impacts lives, potentially thousands of them. And it's all on camera. So he really needs to see and make sure that it flows really well and the plans behind all of these channels are exactly what he intends them to come out as. To manage or sustain multiple YouTube channels like this, it's basically like running multiple businesses, which is not light work at all. But Mr. Beast has so far proved that he, probably more than anyone, knows how to blow up on YouTube and knows 
what the audience wants. He knows how to grow these channels health healthily. At the same time, it's kind of like a domino effect. If one thing goes wrong, the entire thing could just come to a halt or fall down. But at the same time, if he continues doing it right, and that's what I'm betting on, he's gonna exponentially grow from here. All of these channels at the same time. His channel is gonna grow much larger than it already is. It's already enormous. So one day we might actually see a Mr. Beast channel with 500 million subscribers.